Hello, welcome back to the channel. Monica Louv here at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing your reading from mid-December to mid-January. This will be a general reading, so it may resonate, it may not. If it does resonate, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. Virgo, in this reading, I'm gonna be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. If you're interested in taking part in our raffle, which is taking place on December 24th, make sure you get your tickets below. Link is uh, in the description box. Just click the link, purchase your tickets. If you have any questions, you can contact me on my live chat via my website. <clears throat> okay, so your challenge is the nine of wands and what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, three of pentacles in reverse, okay? So your biggest challenge here, Virgo, has a lot to do with the Nine of Wands. I feel with the Nine of Wands, this often talks about not wanting to give up on something. Um, kind of, you know, it's almost like you've been through the, the wire, you've experienced a lot, and there's a little bit of this hesitation, but it's like, I shouldn't give up on this situation, okay? We're gonna clarify your challenge and get more information in a moment. Now, in the recent past, you have the Three of Wands, you have the Two of Cups, and you have the Hermit. So in the recent past, I do strongly feel you met someone. There could have been a relationship here. Um, you were in your head about this person. You're in your head about the relationship, about this person. You know, do I really want to move forward with this person? Do I see myself being with this person? We're going to talk more about that when we clarify in a moment. Now, in the present moment, you have the Six of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles. It's very similar to Cancer reading. You could be um, dealing with a Cancer, or you could have some sort of um, connection to the sign of Cancer, okay? So you could be, you know, a Sun, Moon, or Rising Cancer, or dealing with someone who is um, that there's an offer that's coming in okay there's an opportunity here um uh, it looks like it can lead to a lot of success or it could be possibly something that is leading to success but there's still this indecisive energy and we're going to talk more about that possibly a decision that needs to be made we're going to talk more about that for you in a moment in the near future, you have the temperance, the four of cups and the strength, okay? The four of cups seems to be a common theme that <laughs> almost everybody is getting. Uh, Leo got this four of cups in their future position as well. So you can be, again, dealing with a Leo or you can have Leo very strong in your chart. And it's interesting because the strength is here as well too. Something here is taking too long in the near future. It's just not moving fast enough. And it almost comes across as if someone here is rejecting the other person or there's a lack of um, interest here, okay? Um, and that could be the reason why what you don't see coming is the three of pentacles in reverse because there's a lack of cooperation, okay? And there's a reason why that's happening. Um, we're gonna talk about that so we can prepare you um, for what's coming, okay? So let's get into your reading. Let's do some clarification. Let's see what's going on. <clears throat> Let's clarify your challenge. So the Nine of Wands is clarified by the Two of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and the Eight of Swords. So your biggest challenge here has a lot to do with the fact that a lot of you are in this place, okay, Virgo, you're in this place of being closed off or feeling closed off. And with this closed off energy, it's almost like a hopeless energy, okay? There's this energy of like, I'm never gonna find love. I'm, you know, never gonna be in this place of feeling confident again. I'm constantly in this place of worry, stress, fear, uncertainty. And your biggest challenge is not to allow the physical world to overwhelm you, not to allow the physical experiences of life to overwhelm you, okay? And the Nine of Swords is a very, very, um, worrisome card and the eight of swords is it accompanies that it like it they go hand in hand your biggest question you need to ask yourself okay virgo is why am i closed off why am i in fear why am i worried why am i constantly isolating myself why is it that i'm going through all these experiences and they're repeating over and over again are there certain experiences that 
you're experiencing in your life that keep repeating over and over again. And if they are, maybe the spirit is trying to tell you something. A situation that you're involved in that's been really difficult is going to come to an end. Okay. And I feel as we move into the new year, something here is going to change and it's going to change for the better. There's a reason why you're closed off. And the reason why you're closed off is because you're tired of going through the same old, same old, same old, same old. And your biggest challenge here is to learn that the reason why you keep experiencing the same thing over again, it, it could be meeting the wrong people, um, experiencing the wrong experience, um, <clears throat> being taken advantage of, whatever the case is, it's because there's something here you need to learn. And until you sit down with yourself and you learn that, and you don't repeat the same mistake, but you see the signs, you see the synchronicities to avoid that, that's when you're going to be able to overcome the stress, the fear, and the anxiety. There's always going to be some signs and synchronicities that are there in front of you. You have to look for them. If you don't look for them, nobody is gonna come knocking at your door. Virgo. Uh, it's five, five, five Change is coming. You have to be the one that identifies that. So your biggest challenge here has a lot to do with you repeating the same mistakes over and over again, because you're not learning from the past mistakes that you had before. You don't need to be in fear and anxiety. You don't need to be closed off. Spirit is going to directly speak to you and show you what is good for you and what isn't good for you. And it's your job that when those signs and synchronicities come in, that you're listening to them. Because if you're not, then you don't have anybody else to blame but yourself, okay? And that's gonna be a big part of your challenge. Now, let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify the hermit in the recent past. You were questioning a relationship here in the past. Eight of Wands, Page of Swords, and the Two of Cups. You were questioning a relationship in the past. Page of Swords, Two of Cups. You may have told this person how you felt about what you were thinking. Tell me more about the Two of Cups in the recent past for Virgo. You have the Page of Cups, the Five of Swords, and the Devil. Something in the relationship was not healthy in the past. There was a lot of power struggles. There was a lot of apologies. There was a lot of uncertainty. Something here wasn't perfect. Right at the beginning, something wasn't perfect. Things started to kind of go a little bit um, inconsistent. And that's why something here made you question in the past. I do feel for many of you, you experienced something very negative within one of your relationships in the past. And that's why it's led to this uncertainty about future partners or future experiences. Okay. And that's why your challenge is very much connected to cards of worry, stress, isolation, closed off energy and fear. Now, in the present moment, there's an offer that's being made to you. Somebody here likes you, they see you, or you see them and, and you know you like them. A decision has to be made about whether or not this relationship can lead to this place of success, okay? Now, if this isn't about love, this is about an, a job, off, um, job opportunity or job offer that can put, possibly lead to success, but a lot of you are having a hard time making a decision. Tell me more about this decision in the present moment for Virgo. So the two of pentacles is clarified by the six of pentacles, the world and the death. Should I give to this or should I just give up on it? Should I be generous or should I just give up on it? So you see how there's this indecisive energy. The six of pentacles is of giving. It is a card of giving. It is a card of generosity. And the world and the death is about endings, cycles closing out. So what is it going to be? What's, what, what's the choice? What's the decision here? What is this opportunity that's coming in for you? So the Ace of Pentacles is clarified by the Ace of Wands, the Ten of Swords, and the Ace of Swords. So in the present moment, again, there's this uncertainty 
you see how these cards are contradicting. The Ten of Swords is a painful ending. The Ace of Wands is a new beginning. A lot of you recently went through a really painful ending and because you had such a bad experience, you're worried that this new beginning that's coming in is going to lead to something that may fail. And that's why your challenge is the nine of wands, because what you need to learn Virgo is when something is done, it's done. It's done. If you're embarking on something new, you need to make sure that you are very clear ace of swords of what you expect. There's an energy here, Virgo, of needing to accept something that ended in the past and not bring that with you, okay? So again, if you had a bad experience in the past and you're still holding on to that and you still believe that that's gonna repeat again, well, it will repeat again because that's what you're thinking and manifesting in your mind, okay? So there's, there's an expectation of, okay, this is done. It's over. I don't need to focus on it anymore. I need to prepare for the new beginning. Or you need to figure out what this new beginning means before you embark on it, okay? Because there's a very contradicting energy in the present moment. It's like, I'm done with love. I don't care about love. I don't want to be in love. And then there's, but yeah, but I can have a new beginning. So what do you, what is it that you want? What is it that you want, okay? Um, I think this more or less Virgo has a lot to do with putting the past behind you and leaving the past in the past and not bringing the past into the present moment because it's creating this contradicting energy, okay? Um, beautiful offers coming in, but you need to decide. You need to decide. A lot of you feel that it's gonna lead to success and if it is gonna lead to success and that's what you feel deep down inside, then you know putting the past behind you is something that you tell yourself, you know what, I'm putting the past behind me, I'm not, bringing this, um, you know, the issues that I had in the past forward. Because there's fear here. There's fear that if a new beginning happens, what if it fails? What if it doesn't work out? Well, what if it doesn't? Maybe there's something here that you didn't learn that you experienced in the past. When the reason why negative experiences from the past repeat is because we haven't learned from our mistakes. That's the only reason why it happens. It's because there's a lesson to be learned here. So really thinking about why you're in this place of fear that the past is going to repeat itself is something that you need to ask yourself. And when you get clear on that situation within you, that is when you're going to be able to have the new beginning. Do you understand? It's a spiritual thing. This has nothing to do with physical. This is a spiritual reading. This is a spiritual experience. You cannot have a new beginning when you still have things from the past that you need to tie up. You need to tie up, deal with the issues from the past, and then you can embark on the new beginning. That's how it works. That's how it works. If you're still giving to a situation from the past in any way, shape, or form, mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, and there's a lot of ways that you can do that, then that is what's creating the blockage from having a new beginning and creating ultimate, um, you know, insecurity about it. Okay. So that's what I see happening in the present moment. Now in the near future, somebody here is not patient. They want it now, 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 now. And when they don't get it now, 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 they're like, you know what? I don't want it, but love is patient. Love is kind. Tell me about the four of cups. Why is it here for Virgo in the near future? You have the knight of wands, the chariot and the four of cups. Somebody, one of you, either you or your person wants to move fast. The other person's like, no, I want to take my time. I want to see what this is, what's going to happen. And again, this could be you. You could be the one saying, I want to take my time. I don't want to rush into this. It's very clear that something isn't going to move forward if you and this person are not on the same page. Okay. And that's what I see happening here. It's not the greatest news, but the chariot and the four of cups, someone wants to move forward, but the other person's not willing to take this person up on their offer. Somebody here is all about patience, taking their time. They don't want to rush. Tell me more about the temperance for Virgo in the near future. 
You have the Four of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, and the Magician. So you see, I feel like you are the temperance in the near future. You could have some um, planets in Sagittarius, or you can be connected to Sagittarius in some sort of way. Um, you want to move into a new direction. You see, you're you're holding on to this idea because as I'm telling you, again, some of you ended something recently in the past, and you're still holding on to the negative experiences that happened from the past. And that's what's creating the slow energy from moving forward. And this person is saying, hey, Virgo, let's move forward. Let's move forward. And you're like, Haha, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. And we're not moving forward right now. We're going to take our time. We're going to get to know each other. We're going to, you know, slowly move into this new direction. And you're holding on to that. And you're the, you're the master of your reality, right? So this can go either way. If you and this person are not on the same page and one of you wants to move forward quickly and the other one doesn't, well, that's what creates the ability for inner strength. That's what you're being called to work on between you and your person or whoever you're dealing with in the near future. The inner strength is about taming the lion and the beast within. And if we cannot tame the beast or the lion within, what it creates is it creates a lack of cooperation, a lack of being able to move forward together. And that's why your challenge is the nine of wands, because a lot of you are still in this place of uncertainty when it comes to opening yourself up, especially when it comes to a new beginning. Okay. Sun in reverse. Lack of happiness here. Okay. So being able to be on the same page is going to be a big, big part of, of, you know, what you're learning, uh, moving forward from now until mid January. Let's get some advice. You have the tower, the empress, and the knight of swords. You see, when you rush, when you rush, what does it lead to? It leads to a tower. So there's a reason why you're taking your time. There's a reason why you're questioning. There's a reason why you're still thinking about the past and the negative experiences that you had in the past. It's because you don't want that to repeat. And that's normal. It's normal to not want to have to repeat the same uh, boring lessons that we, that spirit wants us to go through. So the empress is patient. The, the empress is kind. She's nurturing. She's loving. And your biggest piece of advice here is to act as if you're the empress and that's what you're doing. And you're, you know how you know if someone really loves you or really wants you, if they're patient and understanding. It's like mommy, right? Mommy is patient and she's understanding with her baby. She's not going to, um, you know, be, be violent and crazy with her child. She's not going to rush her child. She's going to take the time to build that foundation. By the way, the tower is a foundation. And when the foundation is rushed, it's like when you rush into a relationship or you rush into doing stuff, there's no foundation there. And that's why 95% of relationships fail. Because everybody's in a rush. Everybody wants it now, now, now. To take the macaroni out of the fridge, pop it in the microwave and put five minutes and you can eat it. And that's not healthy. So your biggest piece of advice here is to approach your relationships and approach your projects in a place of the Empress. You can study the Empress and you can see how the Empress, by the way, the Empress is all women in one. She's the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles in one. She's already mastered all of that. And that's why the nine of wands is, is your challenge because you've already mastered these experiences in the past and you must abide by them. You must live by them instead of rushing towards something only for it to lead to a tower. And I don't think that's what you want, Virgo. I think you want stability. I think you want something that's nurturing, stable, and solid. That's who you are. You're an earth sign. And you're very, very much connected to organization and perfection. And you know what it takes to get to that place organization and perfection doesn't happen by rushing and doing things haphazardly, but rather approaching it from the empress like energy. Okay. So Virgo, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you're interested in our raffle, which is taking place on December 24th, do get your tickets below. You're not going to want to miss out. Tickets are available until December 23rd, uh, 12 midnight. If you have any questions about that, please contact me on my website, live chat. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.